What's up, Block Fam? Today we're working on the 2020 Harley Davidson Softail Lowrider S, and we are going to be removing this big old monstrosity, right? Meow. Yeah. Ew. In the garage with me today, I have Wes. What's up? And y'all don't know this guy. This guy's. That's all right. Who are you? Matt. Matt. This guy. Bagger Block. Eric Bagger Brew. Eric. Oh, we've done a lot of installs on exhaust. I've totally shown you guys how to do this many a time. I, normally I would care, but I don't. Sorry. <laughs> I do, I really don't care about this one. Uh, so this is just gonna be basically us going through, installing this new one. Just to give you a baseline, we'll go ahead and start it up. Just so you can hear, stock. All right, here we go. It sounds like a stock exhaust, it's terrible. So we're uh, gonna be installing this Bassani. Woo! Woo! Bassani exhaust. La la. La la. <laughs> that edge is so sharp. If you were to like hit somebody with that thing, oh, you could totally. That would hurt. Oh yeah. So we did go with the uh, Bassani radial sweepers. Uh, also, this episode brought to you guys on behalf of Bassani. Big shout out to Bassani. Long time partner of the channel. You guys be sure to check them out. I'll drop the link right here on the screen as well as in the description below. So quality pipes. Eric, mm -hmm. don't you have a Bassani on yours? I freaking love my Bassani. He freaking loves those Bassani. So great stuff, great customer service. Uh, and like I said, if you guys are interested, check them out, hit up the link, but we're gonna be installing this thing. It's gonna look yeah. much better. I had this one on my regular Lowrider S, my Dyna. So we're kind of going back to the roots. Let's, Let's get to it. installing it. <laughs> If my theory is correct, I've never worked on a new soft tail. You take the head bolts off, the, the, the nuts, and then there's literally one bolt here, one bolt here. And then to me, it looks like the whole exhaust could just come off in one piece. It might get hung up here. Yeah, probably. We're so we'll loosen, loosen one up and then swing it down, and then I think it'll just all come off in one piece. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah, I have one of those too. There's two bolts. There's one down here and one up here, and we we can get to this one, but there's too much of an angle here to get to it. So you gotta take this bottom slip on off. More Sorry. like a slip off. Slip Something. off. Look at this. You got like what, 500 miles on this? Uh, like 1100. Come on, Harley. Hold on. Yeah, we might have to pull these out a little bit. Ah, got it. When you're professional, you can get it off by hand. Boom. Done. We can throw this in the trash. All right, time to get these all unwrapped. Bam. Brackets, hardware, washers, crush washers, uh, nut, some bolts some reducer bushings, plugs for O2 sensors, anti-seize, and a sticker and instructions if you guys need those. And pipes. All right, reducer bushings installed on the pipes mm -hmm. for the, uh, what you call it? O2 sensors. And then we also have the main brackets here installed. Use the stock hardware, Loctite, tighten down. Nice. Just to show you guys some stuff real quick right here. We had to uh, move the mount for the O2 sensor. Uh, it was basically like attached to the frame on the underside. So we had to basically take it out of that and uh, mount it here so that we had enough room to get it into the pipe. So this is basically tightened at the uh, at the flange. It is loose here because we're gonna need some adjustment, I think. Uh, so now we're gonna get the last, uh, the back pipe on, which should be easy. All right, so we got the rear pipe on. So now we're gonna tighten down these bolts. So we've got a uh, bolt crush washer, regular washer, and uh, gonna throw or do a little dripple Loctite on these things. So boom, west with the Loctite. And then we're gonna slowly snug them down and yeah, basically adjust the angles and stuff and slowly snug it. All right guys, we have, uh, just going over here real quick. Flange bolts tightened down on the back, flange bolts tightened down on the front. We have the controls retightened down. We have uh, everything basically lined up 
we loosen these up and we move this top pipe a little bit up so it's an even gap here. And then we also tighten these down back here. So you've got three bolts. Uh, these were already tightened down. Uh, so you, we tightened down the ones on this side and then the one right here as well and put some Loctite on them for good measure. After that, wipe them down as it says to do in the instructions so that they don't stain or blue or anything, right? Oils from your hands and all that. So at this point, we are ready to start it up. I have a question. Uh, when you got them, were the heat shields already on? Yep. It is 8.16 right now, so we are before the nine o'clock cutoff sound. Um, all right. Respectful neighborness. All right, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. Your motorcycle's on fire. No, it's not on fire. That's just that new burning off. But after you install it a new exhaust and then you start it up and it goes through the heat cycle, that's what happens is it burns off that that new new. So it basically settles in. It's like a welcome home aroma or something, you know? It's like, hey, I'm your new exhaust. I'm gonna settle in. <laughs> So anyways, that's how, uh, that's how you install a Bassani radial sweeper exhaust system onto a specifically 2020 Lowrider S, but a Milwaukee 8 2020 Lowrider. It's going to be very similar for pretty much any of the new Harleys, the new Milwaukee 8s. The bracketry might be a little different. What are you doing? Go. Yeah, the bracketry might be a little different. Um, like this one was a little different than like installing one on a sports but for the most part like an exhaust install is an exhaust install you know you're gonna obviously loosen it all up take off the heat shields uh take it off the flanges take out the o2 sensors transfer them over uh make sure you've got you know new or good um exhaust gaskets yeah i mean pretty pretty straightforward standard stuff the next video you guys see is going to be me doing an exhaust demo so you guys can hear how this exhaust sounds, which you can hear it right there, on a uh, 2020 Lowrider S, but specifically focus more on how it sounds on a 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8. I've had this exhaust for a little bit. There's a little bit of a gap between the install day and now, me recording, just to be totally honest. And uh, yeah, let me tell you guys, I freaking love it, man. It puts a smile on my face and uh, I used to get a lot of compliments on this exhaust whenever I had it on my Dyna Lowrider S. You guys can actually hear it, you know, in the mic because of like how it empties out. Um, you know, it's more like to the to the right side of the bike instead of like directly behind, like a traditional two to one. So it picks it up in the mic better, which is awesome. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Thanks to Wes and Eric. For, uh, helping me do the install i appreciate it like i said next video up from basani next video up is going to be the demo video this one as i said earlier brought to you guys in part by basani i'll be sure to check them out basanipipes.com check out all the links down in the description below hope you guys enjoyed it hit the like if you did hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed hit that bell icon also and until next time ride safe out there stay vigilant catch you guys in the next one peace